<laughs> Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sadia. If you don't already know, if you like my vibe already, if you're feeling me, if you're vibing, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to put on the notification bell okay do that for me um i will love you for it um today i wanted to come here and unbox my first pr anything <laughs> it's the first time i'm re receiving pr and um i'm gonna tell you guys about it and share the experience with you guys um so if you guys don't already know i have reviewed on my channel here the face halo the face halo is a reusable makeup remover product that um was hmm I don't want to say owned by Chloe Morello, but it is a product in um, collaboration with um, Chloe Morello. I don't exactly know the owner's name. Um, I'm sure it's in my email somewhere because she has emailed me um, commending me for my very honest review the first time I actually um, reviewed their product. The, the original face halo now they are they have actually come out with the face halo pro and i'm here to give it a review as well as test it out for you guys so if you want to see how this product works if you want to see me on unwrap my first um pr on box unwrap my first pr um product <laughs> um continue to watch this video so um the face halo i'm sorry um it comes into this package i'm just gonna put it all the way back here because i'm having some technical difficulties okay bear with me guys i'm i'm the show must go on whether my my ring light isn't working or not the show will go on okay so it came into a container uh packaging like this um i'm sure we've all seen this kind of packaging i'm just going to clip this open this is so satisfying guys this is so satisfying and i didn't rip anything so that's a good thing it can't it comes into a container like this oops i dropped something uh, it has like a packing list it came with a packing list and then oof, whoa it came with this let's see what's in here whoa this is nice oh my gosh i've actually seen this so it this it comes into a little nice little bag like this and then i oops i almost dropped it i got a face halo band like a headband to like put your hair away while you're doing your makeup um unfortunate and it's velcro so it's sticking to my hair fortunate for me my makeup is already done so i don't have to put this on but it just looks like this it has the logo there that says face halo it comes with velcro like so um I don't know what else you guys want me to do with that um so the actual product comes into a packaging like this i really wanted to do this when the light was out so that this video could be a little bit brighter but that didn't really work out for me and i'm really sick and tired of complaining to you guys about the lighting struggles the i do have professional lighting equipment but to set them up and it's it's more than just setting them up it's it's actually it's 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 technical so just like the original face halo um this face halo package comes with three face halos um ooh, these ones feel just as soft and it comes with um a card like the last one with Chloe Morello okay so same instructions as the um, original face halo um, it comes with three um, 
seeing that I already have the original face halo, this one doesn't really seem any different in terms of the microfibers, but it does feel like there is something in the middle of this. It does feel a little bit more sturdy. Um, if you guys can hear that, I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but it feels like there's something in the midst of it. Let me just grab my face halo. So like I said, um, the face halo comes in threes. I've got one unused here and two that I use. I, with this kind of product, you really don't need to be opening all three of your face halos. Like, save one. Save one for a rainy day. You know what I mean? So um, this is what the brand new face halo looks like. And this is what the... Um, used original face halo looks like um it's very flexible you can ring it like yeah so but that said um there is obviously a difference there's obviously a difference between this halo and this halo this one's a little bit more sturdy this one's a little bit more sturdy and this one is just a little bit more flexible. So I'm not sure if you can actually um, use this in the machine. I'm wash it, when I say use I mean wash it in the machine. I'm going to actually read the instructions here and let you guys know what is up and popping. Okay so it says face halo works with either cold or warm water. The water loosens your makeup, allowing the halo tech fiber strands, which are a hundred times finer than human hair, to reach deep into your pores to remove and trap makeup. Your skin enjoys a healthy and invigorating clean in half the time. See how using only water with face with halo tech fibers compares to other removal methods at www.facehalo.com forward slash the halo effect. It's just clever and so simple. No need to rub or scrub, simply wet the face halo and gently wipe off makeup. You may be surprised at how much makeup comes off on your face halo. This is because the halo tech fibers hold onto it and ensure nothing goes back into your face. For heavier eye makeup, rehydrate your face halo well with water and hold it on the eye or eyelashes for an extra five to 10 seconds. It, it just helps. For best result, wash product before use, machine wash with dark colors, Recommend 200 wash cycles before replacing. Has hand wash with soap and warm water after each use or between machine wash cycles. Important, do not wash your face halo with fabric softener. It may coat the fiber and reduce their effects. So, um, just as the last face halo that I reviewed um, of quite a few ago um, this face halo it's it's you can wash it the same way the first one you wash with light colors this one because it's black you wash it with um, dark colors there's no difference you can wash this even though it feels a little bit more sturdy I actually prefer the original face halo because you can just squeeze it I mean you can squeeze this one too because as you guys can see it's flexible but there's actually something in the midst of this that makes it a little bit more sturdy and I think that is what makes Makes this face halo the pro versus the original face halo which is a little bit more flexible um, it's the same halo tech fibers um, it comes with the logo right here so it's basically the same design just in a different color and um, yeah so without any further ado um, the light has gone down outside I hope you guys can see my face I can scooch in for you guys so that you guys can see me try and test out the face halo for you. I know one of my lashes just like, you know, this one's up. That one. Something fell. But, uh, okay guys, so as I was saying, I was just going to scooch in and give this face halo um, a go. The face halo pro a go and see how this is that that lipstick on my teeth 
<laughs> okay, so I've got my dry face halo hair, and if you see like a change in the light, just know that my ring light is trying me, and I'm just not having it, okay? So, that's just what it is. Um, I'm just, I'm having a little bit of a struggle here, and I'm just continuing. <laughs> I hate when I come on here and talk about the struggle because the struggle is real. Um, these DIYs, maybe I'm not the DIY queen that I think I am. I actually bought the wrong color um, lighting. It's actually one of those lighting strips that change in color and I can't get the right white bright light color that I actually intended on getting when I bought this light and um, it's it's just a struggle right now and I it won't turn off it it's just changing so if you guys see the color the flush in my face changing just know that I just have this struggle right now and um, there's nothing I can really do about it. I really just have to move forward with this video unless I'm literally going to drive myself crazy if I continue. Like, I, I just have to do it. Okay, so I've got my water here and I've got my face halo. I'm just going to dip my face halo into the water. Now, the water is just a little bit cold. It's kind of like ice water. So I'm hoping, because I had it out, I'm hoping that it will... Um, soak into the face halo which it is just normally and regularly <coughs> excuse me and i'm just squeezing out the excess water from the face halo and i'm going to start um removing my makeup now if you guys see i'm i'm actually looking really flawless today i did a nice like makeup look it's looking cute now i'm gonna take this off and yeah let's do this so i'm just gonna hmm. i hope you guys are seeing how this is like literally removing the makeup off my face now you guys are gonna see my flawed and beautiful face which isn't even flawed to be honest i think i'm just beautiful i don't think i should use the word flawed at all and i tell you guys this is literal wizardry I have never seen anything that works like this and you guys know how much I um, you guys know what I felt about the original face halo um, I told you guys when I went to the gym and I was taking off my makeup I was like are you kidding me like what the hell is this what's going on what are these fibers you know, I was just so astonished at how they were performing. And it's it's no difference. The only difference is that there is a stem inside of this one. Um, it's the same, it's the same thing. It's the same, it works the same way. Um, Most, if not all, my makeup is off. I don't want to take off my lipstick with the um, face halo. And I don't want to remove my brows right now. But, I mean, this is good for all the party goers out there. Makeup artists. It's a really cool product, and I attest to it. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. 
I don't want to make this video like one of those videos just because someone sent me some product, you know what I mean? But I like the original Face Halo. Like I said, it's a, just a little bit easier to squeeze in my opinion. Um, I'm just kind of rinsing this out so that I can remove my eye makeup for you guys. <sighs> Okay, so here we are. Let's get close up on the eye. I'm just gonna rest that there. Try to avoid the brows. And just like that, it's gone. Just like that, it's gone. My eye makeup is gone. Um, I'm gonna try and remove my lashes with this. Just gonna press on there. Try to saturate the lashes just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna like take them off now. Ooh, look at that. That was so easy. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. I'm not even gonna wet it again. I'm just gonna rest it onto the eye. and just remove. Rest it onto the eye again. I'm trying to get into that inner corner highlight there that I got in there. And that's the thing, this, uh, this face halo, the pro, it's not as flexible as the original face halo. So um, I feel like this works well for like professional makeup artists that uh, oh, let me just rest this on there for a little bit yeah professional makeup artists that have oh so easy professional makeup artists that have lots of clients um, this is good for like cleaning brushes you know like when you're doing your makeup for instance this brush you guys can see how it is. It's good for just, you know, cleaning brushes. It's just a little bit more sturdy. And look at that. It's significantly cleaner. It's not the cleanest. I mean, I could clean it a little bit more, but yeah, look at that. There goes my skin. There goes the brush looking enormously cleaner. If you ask me um, I don't know if this is a review because I already reviewed this product this is just a video showing you guys that this product actually works and it's working for millions thousands and millions of people and in order for us to um, preserve our environment we need to go back into the mentality of reusing things and I think that's why the face halo is such an important product in the beauty community is because um, no trees have to die for this to to be made and used to remove your makeup um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's it's already out there. You know what I mean? It's already out there. I've already stated it in my first video of this product. And, um, yeah. I can go for a makeup wipe and, um, test out how well my face, how clean my face is for you guys, just so that you can see um, that it does clean your face, you know? It does clean your face. I mean, I'm all about renewable energy. I'm all about recycling and upcycling and reusing stuff and repurposing things and I'm just not about waste like just think about how many makeup wipes you use in a year 
this product you can just throw into your wash it, it takes 200 wash washes before you replace it think about 200 um, makeup removers just laying in a pile you know what I mean and I'm sure most of us like use more than that like you know what I mean like it's a really good product and I'm not gonna sit up here and try to convince you of anything it it does what it says it's supposed to do like do you see any makeup on my face except for my lipstick and my brows which I, I do not want to take off but do you see any makeup on my face I'm gonna go for a makeup wipe and I'll be right back oh actually I don't even have to go anywhere it's it's right here I'm just going to Here I have my wipe. And this is actually a baby wipe. And I'm just gonna wipe my face. Little to no product. Little to no product. And I'm sure if I'd rinsed out that face halo, um it would still it would remove so much more. Of the makeup that was on my face you know but compared to the um, last face halo which I feel like the last face the first face halo was more effective because it was more flexible and I use that I use that as you can see I used it and washed it I like when it's clean looking like this and it's it removes I feel like it removes more makeup than the pro why because it's more flexible I can get up in that corner which is where I remove most of the makeup that was on this was in the crevices and corners of here you know what I mean so do I recommend it Yes, I recommend it because it's down the lines of what I believe in. I recommend it because um, it works. Um, um, if it doesn't work for you, uh, meaning say you use it and it doesn't take off all your makeup, the pro. I uh, almost dropped it. Say you use it and it doesn't take off all your makeup and it has a lot of makeup product on it, which it does right now. That means the face halo itself is oversaturated with makeup. All you need to do is rinse it out with soap and water and use it again. Um, the reason why I didn't do that was because I'm sitting here. I'm already comfortable. I'm lazy. I don't want to get up and go, you know, wash anything and come back like that's all I needed to do you know remove the excess makeup from it and just reuse it that's 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 it you know so I recommend the face halo pro I more so recommend the face halo for everyday people um I don't know what else to say guys I'm not going to sit up here and convince you off anything like you know what the right thing to do in every situation your inner being will tell you what's the right decision so without any further ado this was a really beautiful stressful <laughs> unboxing only because of my lighting situation but um thank you so much face halo for sending me the face halo pro and this whole um package with everything that you guys sent me i really appreciate it um i will be using both these products maybe some more than the others still in love with my original face halo um it's the bomb diggity um it makes my lazy moods just <laughs> i feel more productive taking off my makeup with my face halo than <laughs> the makeup wipe i can lay in bed you know take that shit off just I love this and it's flexible that it gets into every crevice and corner and remove 99.9999% um, of my makeup so 
um, I'm about the face halo pro and I'm about the face halo more so loving the face the original face halo um, I think the pro is for more like um, professionals makeup artists um, it's good for cleaning brushes good for go doing like nice little cleanups um, you throw it into your um, makeup case it's a it's a little bit more sturdy um, I think this is for um, more pro I know I complained about um, the face halo getting dirty and wanting it to be clean but knowing that it's microfibers and germs cannot actually hold and germs and bacteria cannot actually hold in the face halo I think I take back my stands and I'm really just about it like I'm, I'm just about my face halo because I know I'm doing good for my planet I'm doing good for my world and I'm doing good it down the lines of um, practicing what I preach so I recommend the original face halo I also recommend the um, face halo pro for professional makeup artists um, so yeah I'm not gonna continue to babble on guys um, thank you so much for watching this video um, have a wonderful day or night or whenever you're watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next video one love peace and respect <laughs> oh god I'm wondering if I should reshoot this video in the morning because I really wanted this to be nice and bright and light and this isn't it this isn't it Um, it came into, excuse me, hmm. I'm gonna power through and see how it goes and then decide whether or not I want to reshoot or, you know,